Tom, we have a heartwarming update to a story we first told you about yesterday on Action News at 5. 62-year-old Kathy Ladd's motorized scooter was stolen, and it was her only means of getting around. While police are still looking for it, Ladd is now on the move again, thanks to a generous donation. 7 Action News reporter New Prakash has the story from Mount Clemens. Once her story got out, investigators say they got a huge response from people who wanted to help. Well, today, Kathy Ladd got a big surprise with some new wheels. Oh, scooter. A new scooter. Oh, wow. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Kathy Ladd feels like she has her freedom back now that she has a new motorized scooter. We've got so many offers of people wanting to do exactly this. And an attorney in Warren went and got this. And he wanted to remain anonymous. I want you. Check it out. Check it out. Oh, wow. Does it ever see it? It has a key right in it. So I can lock it up? She needs that lock because last Sunday, Lad's prized red and tan motorized scooter worth four grand was stolen. Surveillance pictures show this guy riding away with it from the lobby of the Park Place Towers where Lad had left it while she was at church. But now she's on the move again. I have uh, pulmonary hypertension and mm -hmm. COPD. Mm -hmm. It's hard for me to walk very long distances, mm -hmm. even with the oxygen. So when I can use the scooter, it don't, you know, it's not as taxing on my heart. Investigators say they're still looking for the thief and still getting calls from people around the country who want to help. It's nice to know that, you know, when there is a victim of a crime, you know, that there are people out there that are, that are willing to give back. And so many more people out there that, were con that we contacted that were wanting to get involved and help out. So we're going to see if we can take any of the other donations and other scooters that we have and try and help others as well. It's good to know people care. She also feels great not having to depend on others to get around. Beautiful, right? Yeah, pretty red. This don't mean I'll get pulled over, does it? <laughs> well, we told her, keep it under the speed limit. <laughs> this feels really nice to be on the road again. In Mount Clemens, a new Prakash, 7 Action News. So